Kim, in like for, for the people or the youth that you've worked with, what do you think were the main factors that they they felt disconnected from church or they may have found church boring? So if I look at church, right, and I look at, I mean, the, the, the one event every church every week is mass. Right. And for many of our, not just youth, but even older, you know, like working, working singles and things like that, yeah. one of the things that we don't have is any kind of real understanding about mass what is the mass about right. right what like we're talking about sacrifice we're talking about a meal we're talking about coming together as the people of god but no one's broken it down for us right you know and so many times when we sit down to talk about it or we explain or we mm -hmm. you know dig a little deeper one of the responses that we keep getting is i never knew this nobody told me Mm -hmm. right. And this is at the crux of our faith. This is at the crux of our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And there's nobody really explaining it beyond the prayers. Yeah. That's right. I think that's a real struggle. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. for me, the change came at confirmation. Uh, so at confirmation class, I started discovering this whole new meaning to Mass and wh why every ritual has so much meaning mm -hmm. behind it. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I was uh, like, why is, why is the priest doing that? That's taking a really long time. Like, why is he doing that? And now, now suddenly, after confirmation, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can pay attention. Yeah. This is a thing. I can pay attention for one hour <laughs> and sometimes longer. Yeah. So. I actually remember a really interesting conversation that I had uh, with someone who is completely outside of the Christian faith. She was, she was a Hindu psychiatrist, and this is when I was in college. And we were talking about rituals and, you know, all of that in, in different religions and also in the Catholic faith. And she was like, you know why they use rituals? And for me, I'm like, okay, just to go through the motions. It's easy to go through the motions because it's a ritual. You don't have to right. think. And she said, no, because especially for you guys, like especially for Catholics, you all believe that the bread and wine on the altar on your mm. table is becoming the body and blood of Christ. Mm. And if you really believe that and you have to sit and ponder that, it would blow your mind every single time. Mm -hmm. And when she said that, I mean, she's not even a Christian, right? When mm. she said that, it really did blow my mind. I was like, oh. every Sunday coming from us, this is an impossible thing to happen. A miracle. Yeah. Absolutely a miracle and this happens every Sunday and God invites us to partake of it mm. and he you know he will transform us if we yield ourselves to him yeah. and for me it just began this internal journey just understanding the liturgy. Wow. Right. You know,